the Talaria boys. This is the brand new special edition Talaria XXX. We're going to quickly put it together and head straight out on a ride. We're also going to be comparing it against our brand new Talaria Sting R and our Talaria Sting R with Supermoto wheels. Like and subscribe guys. Let's get into it. the moment you have all been waiting for. We're riding the new Talaria XXX. Dude, this bike is freaking incredible. First impressions, this thing is awesome. Like I can't overstate how good of a job they did on this bike. And for the price, like what else can you get for this price? Nothing is even close. We've got a bigger battery, more power, better brakes, like better suspension. This thing is just awesome. I'm not getting paid to say this, guys. This bike freaking rips. It's light, it's sturdy, the battery doesn't rattle. It's got the same four piston powerful brakes as the Sting R. Six and a half kilowatts, although I think it feels like more. It's crazy. The small form factor and the supermoto wheels are perfect. I'm six foot three. I can hop on this bike and just rip it. Like I feel comfortable. It is sweet. Now we've seen a ton of people comparing this to the Sting R, but there are a lot of differences. So we're gonna pull over here for a second. We're gonna put it up right next to our brand new Sting R and we're gonna show you guys all the differences because most of this bike is entirely new. Right out of the box, this throttle feels amazing. The regen is great. Like you can turn up the regen and it pulls, it's awesome. Guys, this bike should easily be an extra $1,000 or $1,500. Like, the value is incredible. Guys, this thing is sick. Yeah, we know. This thing yeah. freaking rips. It's fast. It's like, like they say it's only six and a half kilowatts, but it rips. And it rips. Like it full on rips, you guys. It is fast. And the Supermotos feel so good. I'm on the Talaria XXX, Reed's on the Talaria R. We're gonna do a drag race. You ready? Ready. All right, three, two, one, go. We are neck and neck, holy cow. This bike is so sick. It for real holds its own. Wow. All right, finally, I'm able to get on the bike kind of give you my first impressions and first thoughts. Um, if you guys like the video and like our content, definitely please consider subscribing, it helps us out. We've got tons of content on the YouTube channel and tons more to come, especially with this XXX here. So finally getting on the bike, getting the feel for it. And I was worried about the seat at first, but the seat's not actually so bad. It's a really, really narrow bike that frames narrow here, but I'm kind of digging it for this street riding, street moto kind of riding that you're going to be doing. I'm liking this small frame. You're able to grip it and it's really comfortable. The throttle feels amazing. So as you know, this motor is the same as the Talari R motor, 
and you can tell. You can tell with the throttle, with the tune on the, the controller. Everything just seems to work so well. The, the battery is so snug in there. Later in the video, we're gonna show you how to take that off. It's super simple. Um, should only take a couple of minutes, and you're not hearing any rattling like you do on the Talaria MX-3 or Talaria R, and I'm loving that. The bike feels very smooth. It is very light compared to the Talaria R that Lance is on right now, but it, it is so much fun. You saw us ripping the drone shots. You saw us ripping up that canyon. This thing is freaking fast. We did a drag race between the, Stelar, the Talaria R and this, and it holds its own. It's so quick. I am loving this bike. It is solid. It's so cool. I'm loving these three supermotos. What other bike could you need? This is it. I want to see another brand try to compete with this at its price point. P51, Super 73, Onyx, Baku, all these other brands are, have crazy expensive e-bikes. And for this at $3,000, you're getting a deal. You're getting so much bike and there's not much more that you could want. I'm going to try to wheelie this. I've been learning on the Talaria R. Reed and I are still learning, so don't make fun of us, but let's see how I can do on this bike. Dude, this is sick. This is like, that's like one of the best wheelies I've done. As I'm sitting on the bike, it just feels very solid. It is a very narrow frame, but it still feels it still feels so good and nice to ride with these super motos that it comes with we actually have super motos on the talaria r and those things are sick it feels very similar and this thing keeps up it keeps up with the talaria r that has more power and a bigger battery and it just they're so well rounded and it's so good we just got back from our first ride on this new XXX and it is crazy good. Like we are honestly blown away. Everybody has been in the comments on Facebook saying this bike has got to have a big flaw because it's only $3,000. Well, it doesn't. This bike freaking rips. You guys saw that drag race. It kept up with the Sting R. It was like two bike lengths behind and then it was just right there. Bike's only running six and a half kilowatts apparently, but it's freaking fast because it's lighter weight. Before we get into all the specs on this bike, if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing. We are doing a range test on this. We're gonna be throwing the dirt wheels on. There's a lot more content coming on our channel. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the specs. So let's talk about this XXX. So this is a special edition US spec Talaria X3. There's a lot of similarities with the X3, but this is not an X3, and this is the bike that you'll be able to purchase in the USA. Now, LunaCycle is the only distributor for the US. You won't be able to go to a dealership that sells Talarias and get this bike. And that $3,000 price is a steal. I don't think you guys understand how big of a deal that is to get this bike for $3,000. So you guys are gonna wanna jump on that. This bike is freaking awesome. So this bike has a 60 volt, 40 amp hour battery. It has an IPM motor, which is the same as the Talaria Sting R, so it's a very capable motor. This bike has supermoto wheels, which is new for the X3 or the XXX. It is super fun on the road because of it. This has Talaria factory suspension, but it is not the same factory suspension as the Sting R. This is actually a new factory fork built specifically for this bike. It's a little bit smaller in stanchion diameter and has a little bit different adjustments and it feels perfect on this bike. It's lighter weight, it's a little bit more springy and just feels really good. Different back shock as well. We've got a different linkage than the Sting R. It's a more direct linkage, which does, it might be the one limiting factor to this bike but on the road, it feels great. We're still gonna test it off road later, so stay tuned for that video. This bike is running six and a half kilowatts of power, which honestly, it feels like more. This bike would walk a stock Suron X, it would walk a Talaria MX3, and it will keep up with a Talaria R. That is freaking impressive for $3,000. This bike has a pretty narrow seat, but it actually feels great to ride. The whole bike is slender, 
and narrow, but you can really grip it with your legs and you feel at one with the bike. You can hop on this bike and feel super comfortable and just rip. You saw Alex and Reed wheeling it. Like they're honestly, they're still learning how to wheelie and they hopped right on this bike and said it was the easiest to wheelie of any e-bike they've ridden. So if you wanna do wheelies, this bike can do them. There's some comments going around Facebook saying that this bike has a 165 pound rider weight limit. That is not true. This bike can support a rider up to 220 pounds if you're jumping, and that weight limit is actually higher if you're not jumping. Another thing we love about this bike in comparison to the Sting R, we love the Sting R's throttle. It's a huge upgrade. This throttle is even better. Like this throttle for wheelies, it is so smooth and predictable. You can just pop this bike up. It's awesome. And then let's talk about some gearing. So this comes with a 48 tooth rear sprocket. However, that is not directly comparable to the other Talaria bikes as far as gearing and top speed because this bike has a belt drive. So it does not have the same gearbox as the Talaria MX-3 or Talaria R. So it's got a little bit different gearing built in, but it feels super smooth. And I think for this bike, it was the right choice. It makes the bike lighter and extremely smooth feeling. This bike also comes with the same brakes as the Talari Stingar, which are a four piston hydraulic brakes, and they have the same 220 mil rotors front and back. And we love these brakes. They're extremely powerful. And with the weight of this bike, like you can lock up both wheels and stop as quick as you need. The other thing we've been seeing comments about, obviously, is that the battery is in this sleeve. Now, Everybody's saying it's really hard to remove and that you have to remove the rear tire and everything. Well, we made a really quick clip showing you exactly how long it takes to take out the battery. And spoiler alert, it's really fast. So let's do that really quick. All right, guys, it is time to take out the battery because everybody's complaining that it's way too hard to do and takes way too long. So we're gonna turn on a timer and we're gonna take it off for the first time. Ready, Ready? set, go. go. All you have to do, take off this bolt. Yes, we're using an impact gun, which does make it slightly faster, but a wrench is also pretty quick. Boom. Drop that out of the way. Now you just take off these quick releases on the battery, spin them so they're loose, and they'll fall off just like that. Boom, pop that up, unplug the battery. At the same time, same you have connector. to have your buddy lift your bike up. And ready? All the way out. You, What's our time? 42 seconds. <laughs> you don't have to remove the rear wheel. All you literally have is one shock bolt and it's super easy to do. So like there you that. go. Here's the two batteries side by side. Talaria Sting R battery, 60 volt, 45 amp hour. Here is the XXX battery, 60 volt, 40 amp hour. They both still have an LED sequence showing how charged they are. And they both use the same charge connector and looks like they have the same plug on here. You can still charge it on the battery. Yep, you can still charge on the battery, which is super cool because right here you actually charge it on the bike. Mm -hmm. Slide that bad boy back in, plug her in. Put your lid down. Okay, you set down, Alex. Set her down. Just put the clamps back on, put the bolt back in. That's it. You're off to the races. And if you guys want, you can totally leave your battery out and you can shut the door, put your shock back on, like if you were transporting this bike a long ways and didn't want the battery in it, you can totally do that, super easy. Okay guys, let's really quickly talk about XXX versus Talaria R, like which one should you buy? Who are these bikes for, okay? They have a pretty big price difference and that needs to be a huge factor. But if you're doing mostly street riding, I think this is the bike for you. Or maybe you're a little bit of a smaller rider. This might be the bike for you. If you do a ton of off-road riding, the Talaria R is still a better bike. It does have the bigger beefier suspension, does have a little bit more power, and it comes with the dirt wheels. So those are your main things that you need to keep in mind. But if you're a neighborhood warrior and you wanna rip around town for a great value, this bike will do it all day and it will keep up with a Sting R. If you really like to go rip the trails, Talaria R is gonna be the way to go. There is also gonna be a pedal kit available for this bike, which is super cool. And there is gonna be a dirt wheel set option available as well, coming in about a month. 
There will be a 19 front wheel, same as the Tellaria Sting, and there will be a 17 inch wheel just like this, except for it will have a dirt tire. So you'll be able to purchase those, great value. They'll come with sprockets and rotors and be ready to go. Because this bike is brand new, there are not a ton of aftermarket upgrades available yet, although a lot of upgrades will still work. You could still put a direct mount stem on here, you could still put a taller riser bar, you could do better brakes if you wanted. Um, you could still do upgraded wheels because it's the same hub spacing as the other Tellaria models. There's still a lot of stuff you could do. We're excited to see what happens with the aftermarket battery manufacturers because even though this is a fully encased battery, they're still going to be able to fit a larger capacity or even a higher voltage inside that sleeve. So we're excited to see what happens there. I'm sure controller manufacturers are going to come out with some more powerful options. But all in all, guys, this bike is incredible. You are really not going to be disappointed with the power. It feels like more than six and a half kilowatts. Like I said before, it's going to munch a Super 73. It's going to munch a Suron. It's going to munch a Tellari MX-3. It keeps up with a Tellari MX-4. It's probably faster than an Onyx. Like, for the value, you guys, nothing is going to beat the Tellari XXX. We mentioned earlier that we were going to compare this bike to our Sting R that has Supermoto wheels on it. They actually feel very similar. These are the same Supermoto wheels, actually, that you get on the XXX. So it makes sense that they would feel similar. Their size are similar. But this bike, is like 25 pounds heavier than this bike. Has a little bit more power, but they feel very similar out on the road. I think that's just something to keep in mind. Huge thanks to Luna Cycle for sending this absolute beast of a bike out to us to test. It has been an absolute blast riding it today. These bikes are sold out already on Luna Cycle. They're the only distributor that you're gonna be able to get this from. So you guys better go on their website, get on the list to be notified when they get a new shipment because they are gonna sell out extremely fast. I know there's another batch coming later this month, so you guys better get on that list. Now, kinda of seems like Tellaria might be trying to run some companies out of business because this XXX is an incredible value. The Sting R is an incredible value. You guys better hop on this Tellaria train because it is not stopping. I'm sure we didn't answer every single one of you guys' questions, so if you have any more questions on this bike, drop a comment down below. We're gonna be answering all the questions about this bike and we have more videos coming. So we'll answer the bigger questions in those videos as well. Thanks for watching guys. We really appreciate your support. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and we will catch you next video. See ya.